Recently, the Meter Center received as a gift uh, an English version of the Geneva Bible printed in 1606. Just as a little historical background, the Bible was uh, first printed in 1560, continued to be printed till about 1644. Uh, it was printed in places like Geneva, London, uh, Edinburgh, Cambridge, Dort, Amsterdam. There are um, some unique parts to the Geneva Bible. First, versification became very much a part of the Geneva Bible and also annotations along the side. The Geneva Bible is sometimes called the Breaches Bible uh, because in Genesis 3-7 it is said, it is uh, translated there that Adam and Eve made breaches for themselves after they realized that they were naked. As an aside, the King James was uh, printed in 1611. However, it was not as popular for several decades as the Geneva Bible. There are three versions of the Geneva Bible, three printed versions. First in 1560 and then for several decades uh, continued to be printed the same way. However, a second version came out in 1587 uh, when uh, the New Testament was retranslated by a Lawrence Thompson. And then there is a third version which in uh, 1598 uh, included in the New Testament notes in Revelation by Francis Junius. Our version of the Bible is the 1606 version and the third uh, printing. The Geneva Bible was definitely a study Bible with the following helps. So as we turn to the front, you'll see uh, that it has this lovely little page, uh, how to um, take profit by reading of the Holy Scriptures. Each book of the Bible also has a summary of its theme so if you go to the, the beginning of each book, you will see a, a summary of its text and its themes. There are uh, a few maps, so you will see uh, the map of uh, the Garden of Eden. There are a few pictures, and again, they're teaching pictures. So, for example, we have uh, a picture of the ark with the description of various parts of it. The Bible contains the Apocrypha, with a little description of what the Apocrypha is. Uh, it also then has a, a wonderful title page following the Apocrypha, which again tells you that it is this uh, third version of the Geneva Bible, because it tells you that it was Englished by Lawrence and that there are notes by Junius. There is an in-depth uh, index at the back, which deals with all sorts of uh, topics, uh, themes, uh, verses, and then there is also a, the complete set of the Psalms, set to music. And then the Bible concludes with prayers, morning and evening prayers. So in one book, if an individual or a family had the materials which they needed to direct their lives in the world and in the church.